Live from News Nation headquarters, this is News Nation Prime with Marnie Hughes. And good evening to you. I'm Marnie Hughes. We begin tonight with news out of Minnesota. Breaking news a manhunt is underway right now for the person who started firing inside the largest mall in the country. We're talking about the Mall of America. It sent the entire mall into lockdown just a couple of hours ago. People seen running, hiding in some of the back rooms of the stores, and you can see that on your screen. We are learning tonight there were several shots fired. Police say they have not found any victims, however. They are following a blood trail now, trying to track down the person they say sent a normal Thursday evening at the mall into chaos. I want to bring in Rebecca Brannon now. She's a journalist who was on the scene when all of this unfolded. She is outside of the hotel near the Mall of America where authorities are searching for that gunman. She is on the phone with us. Rebecca, thank you for giving us your time. Uh, tell us the status right now of the search and what's happening. Well, so far, the Mall of America is no longer in lockdown, and that area has been secure, and everything has shifted over uh, across the street to a nearby hotel where families who were shopping now cannot get into this hotel because SWAT and police have surrounded this hotel where they believe suspects are. And unfortunately, there's some conflicting information, whether there was just one suspect or I've heard now five. Um, there was a officer that came out here 30 minutes ago asking individuals what room they were staying in and if they had anybody occupied in that room. So that tells me, frankly, they, they don't know what rooms they're looking in, but trying to, um, you know, just secure this premises and for some reason they believe these suspects are here and there's not much more information at this time. What about witnesses? What are they saying that they saw? Most witnesses I've spoken to were fortunately on the other side of the mall. If anyone's ever been to the Mall of America, it's very big, very large. And all of them were either told by employees, whatever store they were in, to, to hide, to hide in the back rooms and the stores would lock the doors and turn, turn the lights off. And they were under lockdown for about two hours. Uh, for those that were kind of in the center of the mall where there's amusement rides, there was, I guess, more pandemonium and confusion there because no one knew what to do and they were just told, just go into the nearest store. No one understood that there was a, a shooting. There were several shots fired. Police have confirmed that, but they have not found any victims. Uh, but I mentioned just a moment ago they're following a blood trail. So is there blood left behind? Do they think that one of the suspects may have been injured? It's unfortunately still unclear if that's blood of a victim or blood of a suspect. I have talked to some sources within police. Sounds like it, it might have been gang-related or these individuals knew each other. So whether it might have been the shooter himself that was shot at, it's just unclear what has happened. How close is the hotel that you are at right now where they're searching in proximity to the mall? Probably the closest uh, hotel here. It's right across the street, so it's not a surprise. I see a lot of families have walked from the mall and are staying here. It's a scary situation, so Rebecca, um, to process everything that is happening. Is there still a threat to the public? What are authorities telling people in that immediate area? Authorities really aren't uh, speaking to anyone, and this, I have to admit, it's the first time I've not had um, anyone really talk to me, and I've been to a lot of these uh, incidents, and the area here at the hotel is not even taped off. Um, I find that a little unsettling because you have families out here, um, and, and there's a lot of SWAT inside, but no one has taped off this area, so no one's actually spoken to anyone out here to, to indicate whether, you know, suspects have been apprehended or if this is a safe area or not. I'm quite surprised that how leisurely, I mean, I can walk around and about, but to me, this is a un unsecure area, right. especially it, if we don't know where the suspects are. It's alarming. We have a, just an image on the screen there that uh, police in Bloomington said that they have secured the area, but they are looking for a suspect who took off on foot. Uh, Rebecca Brannon uh, joining us from the scene tonight. Rebecca, thank you. We will continue to follow this. A manhunt underway for a person. Police say started firing inside the Mall of America just a few hours ago. At this point, they said they have not found any victims, but they are searching for a suspect or potentially suspects involved. We'll continue to follow it here on News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.